Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you three things you can do to make your Windows 10 PC gaming so much more enjoyable. So that's basically turning on game mode, turning on HDR and also enabling Windows Sonic for headphones. So the game mode is just going to make everything more responsive, the HDR is going to make the colours on screen much more vibrant and the Windows Sonic for headphones is going to give you nice surround sounds, elevational and surround sounds through your headphones. Now all of these things don't cost anything. They're just on the latest version of the Windows Creator update, but obviously your TV needs to support HDR and also your graphics card will need to support HDR as well. Now when it comes to the game mode, you're probably going to notice more difference if you have a lower to mid end PC. If you've got a really good gaming rig, you might not notice any difference on that one. But it's still free, so give it a go and see what you think. So first of all, I'm going to enable game mode. So first things, I'm actually going to do it on my Samsung TV. So we're going to go to settings. So I'm going to do it on Windows 10 and my Samsung TV. Now, if I go across here and if I go down to special viewing mode and press enter, I now have an option to turn game mode on. So I'm going to do that. And it says here, it's enabled game mode for optimal speed when playing video games. Once enabled, there might be a slight decline in the graphics quality, but it should be more responsive because it's not processing the information as much as before. Right, so that's game mode on the TV there. Now let's set it up on the actual Windows 10. So we're going to go down to the Windows key down the bottom there, and we're going to go to settings, which is the gear icon. Just second one up. And now I'm going to go to where it says gaming, and then left click. And if you have a look here, on the left hand side we have an option that says game mode, this bit here. So I'm going to click on game mode and I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so that's the game mode turned on there, so that was nice and straightforward. Right, so that's game mode enabled on the TV and Windows 10, but we also have to enable it in the game. So let me go to this demo of Forza 7 here. Right, okay, so if you're using a keyboard, all you have to do is hit the Windows and the G. And what it will do is it will bring up the game bar down here. If you're using an Xbox controller, then all you have to do is hit the Xbox button up here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go across to settings and press A or enter or click on your mouse. And then if you have a look here, it says use game mode for this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way down and I'm just going to press A and it's going to put a checkbox in here. And that is it. We now have game mode enabled on Windows 10, on the TV, and also in the game itself. Right, next I'm going to show you how to enable HDR. Now again, HDR needs to be enabled on the game, on the TV, and on Windows 10. So TV to begin with, this is a Samsung TV, this is a cheaper 4K TV. On the better 4K TVs you will find that HDR is enabled on all of the HDMI inputs, but on this TV they've only enabled it on HDMI 1. So at the back I've got three HDMI inputs, two and three don't work. I have to connect my PC into number one. So all we have to do is go to settings, and now if we go down to, we're on picture, we're going to go down to expert settings and press enter. And on Samsung, they don't call it HDR, they call it HDMI UHD color. So I'm going to press enter on that one. And at the moment, I've got it turned to on. By default, it will be off. So you need to turn it to on. And just to show you on this one, it doesn't work on number two or number three. So if you find you're having problems, make sure that your PC is connected to the correct input with the HDMI, for example, on this one, HDMI 1. Right, right that's the TV done, and now we need to do the Windows 10. Right, so I'm going to just escape out of this. And now what we're going to do is, we're going to go down to the Windows icon in the bottom left, and we're going to go to Settings, that's the second one up again. And now, this time we're going to go to System, which is top left on this one. And if you have a look here, this one here says HDR and advanced color, and it's off. Well, I'm going to change that to on. And now it's just going to ask me if I want to keep the settings, which I do. And now that is HDR enabled on Windows 10. So now what I need to do is go back into the game and then enable it on the game. So I'm going to just fast forward through this bit. 
Right, now when I go to options down here and left click, and if I go to video, I will now have HDR up here instead of calibration. And if I go over to it, then you can see it's on. If it wasn't on, then just change it to on. If it was defaulted as off, just change it to on. And then you just need to sort out the gamma and the HDR brightness. So there we go. And that is it. What we have to do is press enter, and it's gonna ask us to keep the settings. And now, if we were to go to Go Race, if you were to, for example, have a look here, the colours here will be much more vibrant. So when you go across here and you see these colours, when you've got HDR enabled, then these blues look much more vivid than they did before. And that's the whole point with HDR. It's well worth doing. Now, the last thing to do is Windows Sonic for headphones. So if you like using your headphones when you're gaming, then by enabling this, it makes it much more immersive. Right, so for example now, these are already surround sound headphones, so you'll notice a little bit of difference because you're gonna have elevation as well, which is above and below when you enable this. But if you're just using cheaper stereo headphones, then you really will notice more difference when it comes to something like these. So the good thing about this is, it saves you having to go out and spend hundreds of pounds on your headphones. It really does work very well. So all you have to do is go to the little speaker symbol down at the very bottom of the screen here. And we're gonna right click on that. So I'm gonna right click. And if you have a look here, it says spatial sound. At the moment it says none. Well, I'm gonna left click on that. And then it's gonna bring up this new box up here. And now it gives us the option to choose either Windows Sonic or Dolby. Now, Dolby Atmos is really good, and the good thing about it as well, it's enabled on some Netflix movies as well. The problem is you do have to pay. It's only a one-off fee. I think it's around 15 US dollars or around 13 pounds something UK pounds. But it's only a one-off fee, so it is actually worth doing. But just to experiment to begin with, just do Windows Sonic for headphones and see how you get on with it. Left click. And then basically we just need to apply and it says there turn on 7.1 virtual surround sound so remember it's a virtual surround sound because obviously you haven't got speakers all around your room it's just virtually doing it but it does sound good and we're just going to left click on apply and that is it but let me just show you something a minute this is the little transmitter here Normally you would have this turned on here for your Dolby surround sound, but they do recommend when you're doing the virtual surround sound via Windows Sonic or Dolby Atmos to turn off all the other features. So by doing those three simple options, it can make a good difference to your Windows 10 PC gaming. And uh, by the way, don't beat me up for having one of these Alienware. The reason I got it is because it was refurbished, 800 pounds, and it was actually a couple of hundred pound less than if I was to get all the parts myself and make my own one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.